Well, I think that there has been a lot more cooperation between Afghans at every level, political and military, than probably heads on lines sometimes show. But I think the real calculation the United States would make is, what are our strategic interests? We have been episodically involved in Afghanistan for the last 50 or 60 years. Yep. I think we need to figure out what would be the likely result if there were no American presence in that region. And I think that those strategic interests need to drive us. Now, there are moral interests and, and feelings as well, but really our ability to figure out what's best for American policy should be key. Well, General, what would happen? What would be the outcome in your view if we had no presence in Afghanistan? What I found when I entered Afghanistan as the commander in 2009 was the biggest shortcoming in Afghanistan was confidence. It was confidence on the part of the Afghan people, confidence on the part of their government, and confidence in the different members of the coalition. I think that that confidence has increased and I know the capability has increased. I'm actually optimistic that there is a great opportunity to establish a stable Afghanistan right now. I do think that the Afghans need the sense of a reliable partner, mm. the United States and other Western nations. So I think that that confidence must be buttressed by the idea that we are there for them. Right, and we know that the, the reason why, uh, General, that the relationship between uh, Afghanistan, uh, at least between the president of Afghanistan and President Barack Obama, has gone south uh, is partly because of the U.S. Uh, beginning these peace talks with the Taliban in Qatar. And given that development and how they feel about it, should we continue those talks? Should we begin those talks? Well, I think it's necessary to go into negotiations with the Taliban, but I think we need to remember that this is Afghanistan's future that we're talking about. So the government of Afghanistan, led by President Karzai, have to be major players in the outcome because they're going to live with it. And I think it's important that we not uh, in any way diminish the importance of their role. Uh, General, let me switch over to what's going on in Egypt. Uh, you know, we obviously in the United States, we, we provide Egypt aid. Much of that goes towards the military in Egypt. Do you support what happened there? Well, I support the idea that Egypt is moving to a democracy. Now, that road is going to have a lot of twists and turns, and it's ner certainly not going as straight as some people might like it to be. I think that what we need to do is help Egypt take a long-term view at how they are going to get a truly pluralistic uh, government that represents all the different interests, not just one or the other. Right. I think that it's also necessary, we all remember that Egypt has tremendous economic problems right now. So under the surface of all the political upheaval that you see are some economic uh, realities that are going to face any regime. And I think we need to be prepared to help Egypt or I think so, that could be a propellant for more problems. So we should not pull aid? I think that our relationship with Egypt is very, very important, and I think we need to remain a partner with Egypt. Okay, but what happened there, though? And I, I, I'm sure you, you must know uh, the military leadership there in Egypt. Was it a military coup there? Well, I certainly wouldn't characterize it one way or another. I think what happened was there was a vision by part of the, the group that had overthrown President Mubarak, the more secular group. I think they came to the conclusion that President Morsi and his regime was going in a direction that they were uncomfortable with, and they decided to act. Uh, the, the military's role, you could argue, came in to stop that violence. I don't want to go further in their political decision because they really haven't come out and said one way or another. How familiar are you with the leadership there? I'm sorry? How familiar are you with the generals, the generals in Egypt? I've met some of them. Not familiar with their thinking now. I certainly wouldn't claim to know their current calculations. All right, General, I want to just quickly turn to what you're working on here in the United States. I know uh, the Franklin Project is something that has uh, come out of the Aspen uh, leadership, in the Aspen Institute. And basically, you're encouraging Americans, young Americans, to go into public service. Uh, you've had, what, something like over 500,000 applicants for like 82,000 jobs or something of, of, that, of that nature. Why are you seeing such a big response? What are you seeing here? 
Well, we've got a bipartisan group of people who are pushing for the idea of universal national service, which would be voluntary but expected for young people as they leave high school or college. And the idea is that they would do a, a year of full-time work, be paid a living stipend. But the real objective here is to increase our ability to give opportunities to people from all across America, not just people of means who can afford to support themselves while they do volunteer work. But the, the real goal here is to work in health care, education, what? conservation, also the military and to imbue in people a sense of renewed linkage to their country, a sense of renewed responsibility for the nation, and a responsibility to each other. And how do you make sure, though, that it's all Americans that participate in this and not just those who are on the wealthier side of the scale? That's a great question. Really, you have got to provide opportunities with funding, because if, if someone doesn't have the opportunity to to uh, support themselves, you've got to have enough funding so that we can give them full-time opportunities uh, for the period of service. And that could allow us also to mix our young people. People from East LA could be working with people from Scarsdale in teams. And I think that right. that would help bridge gaps that, that are very important in America right now.